The video review will start in a few seconds, but as a reminder, remember if you have a question, comment, or a suggestion about this video review, the link is provided on the page below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3GameMan.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Black's BTP2 tripod. Now I picked this up a few days ago and I thought that I'd do a video review on it because some of you out there might be interested in getting an affordable tripod and well I don't review tripods that much so hey why not I'll read off the box here it comes with a quick release bubble level gear elevator handle three-way fluid motion pan head large carrying handle professional foam grip and three section aluminum legs with rubber self leveling leg tips and if you're into tripods you might spot this it looks to me like a polaroid tripod in any case i'm not quite sure on that but it certainly looks like it to me doesn't matter a whole lot companies rebrand stuff all the time so let me open it up and we can have a closer look at it Ooh, it looks like it comes in a hot bag here It's in a plastic bag. If you're on the go, this is certainly a great bag for carrying the tripod around the inn. It also comes with an adjustable strap. The tripod itself does look very meaty. It's thick. The legs are constructed from thick aluminum. Has the support in the middle some tripods do not have this and also a hook on the bottom and this is for a weight if you want to weight the tripod down important if for example you don't want the tripod to tip over you get all kinds of swiveling action here at the top um, quick release here for the camera mount so this would go on the camera and then you would just, you know, pop it in. It's quick release. That's fantastic. In the old days, you would have to screw the camera in manually every single time. Now, just simply screw this into the camera and then, you know, pop it in very, very quickly. Uh, so this way, it should pivot also this way. Notice the clicking action. As well, you've got levels here. You've got a level right here and another one here just to keep everything level. And this is the crank. Crank it up and crank it down. You've got a nice beefy handle here for carrying the tripod. All closes up and you can go ahead and carry it like so. And Look at these feet. They adjust to any surface. That's fantastic because not all surfaces are level and this will self-level, which is beautiful actually. And uh, it's rubber. And you can just pop these open to extend the legs to pretty much any height that you want. And note that there's a large foam grip on each leg. That's fantastic because you can grab hold of this very quickly to move the tripod, uh, to reposition the tripod. It just makes it that much easier. Now they also include a support lock so you can actually position this where you want it, like here for example, and then lock it into place. A lot of tripods do not come with that. Usually, you know, there's no lock here and it goes all the way down in one position only. And there's another lock right here. You just turn this clockwise to secure it. And if you do that, you can't move this up or down. And even more ways to secure it. This is the handle. If you want to loosen it, you can pivot this like so. If you turn it clockwise, you'll lock it into position and you can't move it. There's also a lock on this side. And this lock is for panning. So when it's on lock, you can easily pan it back and forth. When it's locked, you cannot. Now, just have a listen as I move it. You get a little bit of noise. Now, that's a concern for some people. If you're doing panning and you're changing position, for example, 
and you want to record audio while doing it, that little bit of noise might be an issue. If you're in the market for an affordable tripod, but it needs to have most of the features you'd find in a more expensive one, this might be the product for you. I have to say, bang for the buck on this is high very very high now the top part is mostly plastic so I wouldn't recommend putting super heavyweight cameras on this you you know, want to go with a much more expensive solid tripod than this one if you're thinking about doing that but lightweight to medium weight cameras should be no problem with this tripod all things considered this is a kick-ass product until next time take care